Welcome to the Hamsi Analytics Daily Market Commentary. I'm Paolo Navarro. Today is Friday, March 16, 2012. Today's economic data, CPI, came in at 0.4%. We're expecting 0.3%. For the markets, the S&P 500 futures saw a high of the day of 1400.5 and a low of the day of 1394. We closed at 1398.75. Today's volume was lower than the 20-day moving average at 1.4 million contracts. For the Nasdaq futures, we saw a high of the day of 27.20 and a low of the day of 2702.75. We closed at 2711.25 and the volume was 190,000 contracts. That's a lot below the 20 day moving average. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential closed at negative 313. For the Nasdaq advanced decline differential, we closed at negative 122. There were 51 new 52-week highs for the S&P 500 and non 52-week highs for the S&P 500. Here we have the daily chart for the ES. You can see here we're on the positive, two positive, three sigma channel. We're up today about two handles. For the weekly chart, we are on the positive, two positive, positive, one positive, two sigma channel. Continue to be on that channel. We're on the upper part of the channel. We can see. CI diff is increasing as you can see on the this indicator. Momentum keeps on building to the upside. We've already met the um, 1400 level that we talked about yesterday. Here we have the weekly chart for NQ. As you can see, we're again on the positive one, positive two sigma channel for the weekly, which is good. We touch the sigma two, sigma three, and then we come back a little. Today we had almost a flat day for NQ on the daily chart. We're on the uh, getting back to the positive one, positive two sigma channel, which is good. For gold, as you can see, we broke the zero sig line. We closed below it. We touched the negative one sigma and we came back a little higher. This is the weekly chart for the gold futures. Momentum is going to the downside. You can see here on the CI diff. On the daily chart, today gold was a little higher, not much, almost a doji here. We're still on the positive, negative one, negative two sigma channel. The target here, as we continue to see on the 1600, the, the trend line we've been looking at for weeks. So that would be the downside target, and the upside target would be the. Um, 200 day moving average. Here we have the silver futures weekly chart. As you can see here, we're still above the zero stick line. We touched it, got below it today, this week, but we couldn't break it on the close, so we'll keep a, an eye on that. On the daily chart for silver futures, we're still on the negative one, negative two sigma channel. Again, we need to watch the 31 and a half, 30 level. Below that, it gets very dangerous to the high 20s. Here we have the weekly chart for CL. As you can see, we have here like a doji. We're down 26 cents for the week. We continue to be on positive one, positive two sigma channel. It was quite a comeback for crude after being down for the week almost. We were up 2.5 percent. That was after the rumor that um on the SPR, but it wasn't true, and then again on the tensions of Iran. So oil still has some pressure to the upside. On the daily chart, as you can see here, the sigma channels now are very compressed. You can see here on the width, it's going very low right now, so we're maybe looking at a move to either side. So you know, the levels on the a high side would be 108, uh, 110.85, which was the high of last week, or last couple of weeks. And on the downside, we continue to look at the 104.32 level, which is the trend line we drew. That has been acting as support for the last couple of even months. So keep an eye, an eye on crude. Here we have the weekly chart for the VIX. As you can see here, this was the fifth consecutive down week. We're on the negative one, negative two sigma channel as we have been for a couple of almost all 2012 and the late 2011. On the daily chart, we were today down 6% for the VIX. 
the one thing to to take a look around is CI some green and it's pointing upwards so we might take a look at that on the VIX maybe we're seeing a turnaround point here